What's up everybody, Roderick here, and although today started off as a great day with the initial release of the first developer beta of iOS 13, once you start using it, you start noticing one really sad thing that is actually coming to fruition for later this year. 3D Touch is slowly being phased out, and it's gonna be dead because I have a 3D Touch enabled iPhone and that feature is slowly starting to go missing. Let me try to show you what I mean. Now this might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but I'm gonna do my best to show you guys what's going on. Over on our lock screen, we have our quick toggles for our flashlight, as well as our camera app. Those still work with 3D Touch. However, once you get onto the home screen, that's another issue. Normally when we 3D Touch on something, it would pop up. As you can see, as I'm 3D Touching, nothing happens. Now you're probably saying, whoa, it did pop up, but it didn't pop up because of the 3D touch. Try to look really closely now. I'm gonna press really hard and nothing happens. Now what actually happens, you can 3D touch it, you can regular touch, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is do a long press, you feel a vibration and then you let go and then you get your 3D touch options. We'll try over here with settings. That's just a light touch. If you hold it down for more than a couple seconds, it'll enter wiggle mode so you can move around your icons. Now because it's going to be the new norm when the new iPhones come out this year, there's also another way to enter wiggle mode. All you have to do is long press it. Once you feel the first vibration, you can just drag around and move it. And then you're instantly in wiggle mode. And if you want to emulate 3D touch, you just long press for about a second until you feel the vibration, let go, and then you get your options. And the same thing goes for notifications. We have a message here. I'm going to 3D touch on it. Nothing's happening. But if I just tap on it, it vibrates, let go, now I can respond to it. Now, although 3D Touch is non-existent on the home screen, when you're within apps, 3D Touch still does work. For example, in Reddit, you can 3D Touch on an article, you can take a look at it, let go if you don't want to look at it, or, you know, you can 3D Touch on it to peek, and then 3D Touch again to open it up. You know, regular 3D Touch actions. Same thing when it comes to Instagram. 3D Touch is still active. It appears right now they're starting with the home screen, and eventually it'll be completely phased out. So guys, what do you think of this? Are you gonna miss 3D Touch? I really love it. Now, if I never had it to begin with, that would probably be another story and I would never miss it because I never had it. Now remember, this is a beta, so it is entirely possible that this is just a bug because I didn't expect them to take away 3D Touch from devices that already had it. Because that would really suck since the hardware is there, why would they take it away and make it completely useless? But we've had it for years. I mean, I've only had it since the iPhone 10 came out, which is only about two years ago, but still, you can't just take Take it away from me but i guess there's nothing we can do about it. it's gone and we got haptic touch instead so let me know what your thoughts are down below thumbs up red subscribe button social media and i'll see you in the next one